Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove the built-in carousel from the Cornerstone template on BigCommerce. Now if you're on a different template, it may be the same as this, it may be a little bit different, but one thing is for certain, the built-in original <laughs> carousel graphics from BigCommerce have the worst <laughs> carousel example images ever. All right, let's show you how to get rid of it. Now, you may be getting rid of this because you've read quite correctly that homepage heroes reduce your conversion rate. They do. So many studies have proven this. I know that there's still a lot of you know store owners that are hanging on to the concept of I got to have a hero graph. I have to have a hero carousel. No, you don't. But, you know, you're here watching this video because you already know this. So let me show you where to go to get it. Now, one thing I used to do back when I was a back when I was a child is I'll go into storefront, homepage carousel, and I would just remove the second, third, and fourth images so that I only had one one slide effectively in my carousel. And if I click save and go back to the front end, you'll notice that you know the left right arrows are gone, the dots are gone because it's no longer a carousel. The uh, slider JavaScript that BigCommerce uses, Slick Slider, it automatically knows that if there's only one slide, don't make it slide, right? But all that JavaScript is still in there, and you know, this HTML overlay looks really, really bad. So I think we probably want to just remove it anyway. What I usually do is I just get rid of the carousel altogether and I use a static image widget. So let me show you how to do that. If we go back into the back end and go under storefront themes, then we can click customize to go into the customizer. And you know you can comment this out in the actual code, but you don't really need to because if you click on this theme styles button right here and then click into home page, there's a opt-in there, an opt-in, a check mark. Opted. There's a check mark right there that says show carousel. And this is an if statement that surrounds the whole carousel block in the code. So when we turn this off, it, it's effectively just, it's not even commenting out the carousel. It's making it never show up in the, in the code in the first place, which is pretty cool. So all you have to do is uncheck that where it says show carousel and you can see it's gone. Now it doesn't matter if you have images still loaded in the carousel feature in the back end or not. Uh, once you once you uncheck that, it's gone from the page. And if you do want to put a static hero image back in here, you can use one of the widgets here from our published app, which is Epic Page Builder Widgets, or you can use this, this uh, default one that BigCommerce gives you that just says image. And it again has a really ugly placeholder, but you can click uh, upload image, go to the upload tab and upload whatever you got. I'm going to just <clears throat> scroll down to one that I have uploaded in the past and say, okay, there's my new hero image. And now I have a static hero image. I don't have any of the, the carousel JavaScript baggage. Uh, it's completely shut off and just need to click publish at the end. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. If you need a developer for your store, reach out to me at epicdesignlabs.com. And I really appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.